Welcome to Postscript. Here we hope to answer your questions and help you dig deeper into the messages and sermons at FaithBridge by talking with the teacher of the day. Hi and welcome to Postscript. I'm Luann Riley, Grow Group and Discipleship Director, and I'm here with Pastor Dan, who just talked about overcoming worry, part of our Overcome series. Welcome, Pastor Dan. Thanks. Glad to have you back. Good to be here. Certainly a very moving and relevant sermon today. Great. Um, affected a lot of people. I know, as you said, probably everyone walked in today mm -hmm. with something on their hearts sure. that they're worried about or concerned about in their lives. And um, a great time of prayer for that. And we had quite a few questions come in okay. um, around dealing with worry. Um, so we'll just jump right into a few of those. Okay. Um, what are some practical ways? Um, we talked about um, the heart behind casting our cares upon mm -hmm. God and really trusting Him mm -hmm. with those things. Um, but what are ways that we can keep from taking those things back? What are practical things to do when we feel ourselves beginning to worry? Sure. Well, um, I think the first thing that I would say is don't be concerned that you have taken it back because inevitably you will. Everybody, <laughs> unless it is just the most minor of issues, most people do a sort of a give and take with God and, and, and that's okay as long as you're still giving it back to Him. But uh, along the lines of practicality, these are the things that I have found helpful. Uh, quiet time. And by that, I don't necessarily mean a devotional, but simply a time away from all input, you know, phones, TV, kids, whatever, to clearly think through what it is you're dealing with and perhaps even write it down. Uh, I have found many times that simply identifying what the issue is takes a little bit of the sting out of it just to know, okay, this, this is what I'm, I'm praying about. And then, of course, to, to follow through with concerted effort at prayer as often as you need to throughout the day. I also like to keep a journal to keep track of how I'm feeling from day to day. Uh, am I hyper-concerned today? Well, then, okay, why? What, what possibly happened? And by simply putting thoughts down on paper and walking through this slowly rather than the thoughts mm -hmm. coming and going at will and never really uh, embracing the issue, if you will, I, I think making that journey more methodically is a very good thing to do. Hmm. That's good. Um, so how do you balance... Um, Casting your cares, giving them all to the Lord, and then deciding what effort or action is required mm -hmm. for you on your part. Right. I suppose one of the uh, fallacies that someone could take from that particular verse or from my message is that all we have to do is cast it and we're done. God's got it. Um, that's not the case. Uh, Rarely, if ever, does God completely remove us from the equation and deal with it independently. Uh, no, it, it's our issue. It's our concern. So we are still going to be involved in it. Um, I think first you have to consciously think about how, okay, I'm not going to own this. It's with me, but it is not mine. And if you have to go through the physical motion like I did in my pickup truck, great. But then after that, uh, these are the things that you can ask God for in the midst. Uh, grace for strength, just to make it day to day. I, I have counseled with many people who have told me it was uh, an effort just to get out of bed. So grace for strength to deal with it. Wisdom to know how to deal with it in a godly way manner. Pray for the mind of Christ so that you know the decisions I'm making, the actions that I'm taking are uh, in keeping with what He would have me do, in keeping with God's Word. I think another helpful thing is to walk through your problems in community because so often an outside voice 
is a good one. When you're all wrapped up in something, it's impossible to be objective about it and think clearly. And a, a small group member or a serve team member or a fellow mm -hmm. church member sometimes can just bring a tremendous word of clarity that helps us to keep moving forward. And we say in our small groups that we're there to share burdens. Yeah, real people, other, real life. Real people, real life yeah. to help carry some of those things that we struggle with. Absolutely. Um, so how do you know though, if you, if worry, if you're struggling with something that you're worried with and you are casting it to the Lord and you are doing these things, how do you know if maybe there's a deeper problem, if maybe you are struggling with an anxiety disorder mm -hmm. or what encouragement do you have there or wisdom there? Okay. Well, I, I think one way to discern between what you might call normal worry and an anxiety disorder would have to do with the frequency of the worry and the uh, uh, breadth of the worry. For example, if an individual finds out that they have a serious disease and they are intensely worried about it, well, that's no cause for concern that there might be an anxiety disorder. That, that's pretty typical, pretty normal. On the other hand, if someone wakes up and finds out that they're worried about going to work that day, and then when they get in their car, they're worried about the drive, and then when they get to work, they're worried about whether or not this bill is paid, you know, and just all throughout the day, it's item after item after item after item, uh, that's probably a pretty good sign that there's something else going on here. Another thing to consider is, is the worry becoming debilitating? Are, are you unable to function? Has it rendered you uh, unable to do your job, to interact with your family, to meet your basic responsibilities? If you suspect a disorder is a part of the situation, then go to your doctor, uh, go to a counselor, go talk to someone who's had some training in these matters who can look at it more objectively, more carefully than you can and and get their input. That's good, that's good. Um, I know you talked today about um, just the prayer that we offer here and mm -hmm. I know we do the healing prayers now and just every week encouraging yeah. people to come and seek prayer for mm -hmm. the things that they're going through sure. and certainly appreciate the pastor hat this, that you were putting on today and just reminding everyone that they're not alone in the things that they're going through. Yeah, they don't have to be, mm -hmm. that's for sure. That's true. Well, thank you so much for your message today. You bet. Um, and thank you for being here on Postscript. Mm -hmm. And thank you for joining us here for Postscript. We'll see you back here next week. Thanks for joining us for Postscript. Help us keep the podcast interactive by submitting your questions during the morning services. Learn more at faithbridge.org postscript.